We seem to neglect some critical individual issues when we talk about sustainability. Here's one. First, we use massive amounts of resources. Human, fossil fuels, agriculture, transportation, marketing and banking. To create food that is clearly unhealthy, full of fat, sugar, salt, chemicals, and junk food of all sorts. Second, we spend billions of dollars to package, stock, and market this food for apparently unwitting, naive, or self-destructive customers who buy and consume this unhealthy food in great quantities, both at home and out. Third, what results is critically unhealthy Americans who are characterized by cumbersome bodies and reduced performance at work and home. Even more tragic, we incur a massive and quickly growing health care budget, one that could be reduced by more than half if Americans started adopting healthier eating and exercising habits. These expenses are bankrupting our nation. We are eating ourselves to death. At the same time, so many millions don't eat at all. Are you okay with all of this? Here's the important question. Do we have the human right to overconsume valuable and limited resources in such a cavalier manner while over a billion people are starving? Ask yourself, do we have the right? Are you part of the problem? If we don't buy and eat garbage, it won't be produced, and we'd be a far healthier and wealthier nation. Consider this. The Mayo Clinic Children's Health Report notes that obese children are more likely to experience health problems which include diabetes, poor self-esteem, cardiovascular disorders, high blood cholesterol, and more. Considering the rapidly increasing rates of childhood obesity, our future may be characterized by a generation of seriously unhealthy people and a staggering health care budget. The United States, the most affluent nation on the planet, is also the fattest. In addition, the NDIC reports that 215,000 individuals under the age of 20 have been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, a dramatic increase in the past decade. In 2007, the direct and indirect costs of just this one easily preventable or reversible disease was $174 billion in a year. Statistics for other diseases of food overconsumption, including heart disease, stroke, various cancers, and conditions, are similarly disturbing, considering that most of them can be prevented and many reversed. Aside from your own health, consider how eating damages other people. The World Health Organization reports the following. One third of Earth's population is starving. Another third is underfed and another third is well-fed. In the last five minutes, at least 200 people died of starvation. Feeding America reports that one in six people struggles with hunger. 49 million Americans, including 16.7 million children, live in food insecure households. At the same time, about 14% of food purchased for U.S. families is tossed out. That's about $590 per year per household. Compounding the problem is the increase in consumption of fast food. We currently face global catastrophes because of this overconsumption, but the future might also be bleak if we can't change. The United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs has projected the world population of 8 billion by 2025, 9 billion by 2043, and 10 billion by 2083. And over 900 million of the Earth's population are chronically malnourished. In addition, less developed countries are importing food from developed countries, a practice they can hardly afford. Two central issues emerge here. First of all, we simply can't afford an even greater health care crisis. Our nation is in decline, and financing overconsumption is clearly unwise. 
the U.S. health care budget for 2013 was $3.8 trillion. The second issue is much more controversial. As a nation, we're eating ourselves to death almost literally and spend valuable resources, money, human energy, innovation, on addressing the countless lifestyle diseases caused by overeating. Considering there are shortages of food not only in the U.S., but worldwide, do we have the human right, quite literally, to engage in this practice? One that lowers our productivity, produces a healthcare and diet industry reeling out of financial control, while all these resources are in dire need elsewhere. The issue, whatever the case, is what we eat and how much we eat. All of these things start with you, the individual. So what are you going to do about it?